Okay, hey, welcome to Paul's shop. Yeah, anybody who knows me could tell you why this place is a serious, happy place for me. This is the shop where, uh, in a month's time, Paul and I fabricated and did everything necessary to repower my truck with a small block V8 back in January 2019. It was 30, I don't know, how many days are in January? 31 days? I think 31 days. And we worked every day and did it in that short time frame. It was really something. But uh, yeah, Paul is my, my big fabrication mentor. He's been a professional exhaust and fabricator, custom exhaust guy all his life. And uh, this is his uh, retirement shop and he's working on a beautiful new project here, a 29 Ford Roadster pickup. Good Lord, the guy has great taste. <laughs> so yeah, I stop here every time I'm up in the Seattle area as many opportunities as I get. And it's always inspiring one way or another. Paul and Karen are the sweetest people. They have been so kind, so generous to me. And uh, I feel so blessed by that. The, the people that have come into my life since I have taken the leap that I have are just amazing. And, you know, I never had a mechanical and fabrication mentor like Paul, who, you know, we can, I can come to him with my ideas, what I think will work, and the guy's got, you know, 50 years of experience. He can look at my design and just tell me, point blank, oh, okay, that's a problem right there, or that won't work, let's do it this way, and we can have a conversation, and, you know, before I did all the work I did post-separation and divorce, I would have felt threatened by that because I just was such a, a person that just, when you're low self-esteem, you're afraid to engage with anyone who might point out anything, even something you don't know all you need to know about that, you, that you're not right about, and it's bullshit, it's stupid. But to be in the place I was, finally doing that work, when Paul came into my life and open, completely open to say, yeah, show me, share, tell, teach me, you know, um, there's nothing wrong with my design. It just needs this, that, and the other thing tweaked because that's going to flex where it shouldn't flex. And this over here needs reinforcement. And here's how we do it. And no, you don't need to use quarter inch thick plate to build this thing, Rich. <laughs> Also, anybody who knows me can tell you all my life I've overbuilt the shit out of things. And a professional who's worked with metal all their life, man, they've got it down. They can tell you what thickness of material you're going to need to work with to accomplish whatever fabrication goal you've got. And anyway, there are so many ways, uh, so many things I could share about what I've learned from Paul in this shop. And what this place is just, it's a huge touchstone for me here. It always will be, uh, it's got a special place in my heart because I've never had that experience. All my life I've longed for that experience. I got tiny glimpses of it when I'd see my dad for two weeks in the summer as a kid. And there'd be a couple days where we'd work in the garage on something. And I was over the moon. But uh, those were always vacation type things, so there wasn't a lot of that going on. And to have Paul come into my life with so much experience, we share the same style, aesthetic in a lot of ways. We love the same kind of vehicles. Um, our ideas really complement each other. We work through problems together really well. I have learned so much from him that has improved my fabrication skills and my mechanical skills a hundredfold since he came into my life. And so yeah, this is a super special place in my life. And I, I haven't had many mentors. I, I'd say my biggest mentor before Paul was uh, Phil Banco, photographer, 
that I assisted full-time for once I got out of school in Seattle from uh, 1989 through 1991. Huge influence. I could say the exact same things about Phil. Unbelievably talented, generous, kind, inspiring, just like Paul. Totally different medium, obviously, but uh, I've had so few mentors in my life. And I was just thinking about that today when I was here, because I was helping Paul with something, and doing a bunch of photography for him, because he's going to sell the 32. And I was reflecting on that when I finally had some solo time, how, wow, there's been so few mentors in my life, and I think it would have made a huge difference for me. And uh, I would encourage you, if you're, if you're blessed to have mentors in your life, you are so blessed. I mean, it's amazing. If you don't, I would encourage you to find a way, you know, find those mentors. I know it's not something you can force, but if you're passionate about something that you want to learn about, find a way to get in that game, to get around the people doing it. If it's a club, if it's a place where the thing is happening that you love, go and be there and be there and be there and be there and be open and approachable and respectful and there is nothing like gaining a real legit mentor. And uh, that's been on my heart today since I got here this morning, been working with Paul, and uh, I just wanted to briefly say that, you know, that is a big deal in life, and it's um, something I hope you have, and if you don't, hope you can make it happen. Because as much as we think we can learn everything we need to from the internet, from research, which it's unbelievable what we can learn on the internet. It's never going to take the place of working hand in hand, side by side, with someone who knows their shit. And it's something you really want to learn. No YouTube video can even come close to that. Yet, I use YouTube all the time to figure out how to do things. But uh, there's nothing like learning in person with someone who knows what they're doing. And the camaraderie. I haven't had friends like that in my life because I was so withdrawn. And uh, I see now where I really limited my growth for a long time by not opening up to more relationships, more friendships. And uh, anyway, just wanted to say that. Just uh, say that mentors are amazing. I hope you have them. If you don't, get some. And uh, just say once again, Deepest heartfelt thanks to Paul and Karen for sharing your, your love, your abilities, and this resource with me. I can't tell you what it means to me. I love you guys. And uh, so there you go. And I wanted to give you a glimpse of this awesome place. It is freaking cool. If you're a gearhead, you go nuts in this shop. <laughs> There's nothing you can't do in here. It's amazing. So yeah. Anyway, that's going to be this week's I'm Busy. I'll be back in Seattle um, before the week is done. Well, when this video airs on Friday, I'll be back in Seattle already and doing my thing. So June's going to be real busy. I have a lot to do logistically in Seattle. Um, and I will be doing a ton of shooting for shelters in July and into August. So that's kind of what we're looking at. So yeah, I'm in the Northwest. And I got a couple days here at the shop. And then I get over to Seattle on the 5th. So, wishing you all a great weekend, and uh, thanks for coming along on the ride.